Hi everyone, um, this is Rich Lemon. I've been making a series uh, for my uh, vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery that I had in January. And today is my six month update. I did a one month update, a two month update, and a three month update. I didn't do my four and five month. Um, and realized today that I have to do my six month. I'm, um, <clears throat> I started out at 245 pounds and as of today, I'm 167. So I'm very close to my goal weight, which I was hoping to make on my six month, but my goal weight is 160 pounds. So I'll probably hit that within the month um, of August. Overall, the process has been fantastic. I have no complaints at all. Um, my stomach is still healing. You know, um, you don't really know when it's done, but the amount of food I can eat, um, I've learned to adjust to the volume of food I can eat, and um, it's become part of my everyday process now. I don't really think much about it. As far as exercise, I remember on my one month, um, I was so proud of myself because I was walking 30 minutes a day and I thought, oh, that's above and beyond what I should be doing. And in fact, now I try and go for 10,000 steps a day, which is about five miles, um, a little bit more. I, I usually do between 10 and 15,000 steps a day. Um, and then I also go for um, a seven mile bike ride every day. So my the amount of exercise I do has greatly, greatly increased. And that's really what you need to do. Um, one thing I've learned, the, the sleeve is really a tool. And they tell you that throughout the entire process, that the sleeve is really just a tool. And really, that's all it is, is it's just a tool to control the volume that you can take in, but you can still find ways around it if, if you're hell-bent on it. Um, you can eat really fatty foods, high-carb foods. You just don't, you, you learn not to. Um, but on top of that, you also have to get an exercise, you have to eat right, you have to sleep well. And when you put all of those things together, that's what makes the sleeve uh, a success. I, um, I started out with a 40-inch um, a waist, and now I have a 31-inch waist, which I'm really, really happy. Um, I went down to New York uh, last month to do my clothes shopping because I was within 10 pounds of my goal weight, so I decided it was safe to go clothes shopping. So I, I bought a whole new wardrobe and um, it feels really good to put clothes on and have them fit me comfortably and not be using them to hide behind. You know, I always had these big bulky black sweaters that I thought was hiding everything. And in fact, I just look like a fat person wearing an oversized black sweater. Um, let's see what else. Um, Oh, I put together a list of do's and don'ts of things that I've learned in the process for myself. I'm going to make a video of that in another week or two, but um, just a list of kind of things that I didn't anticipate when I first started and realized that um, it's a pretty helpful list. So I'll, I'll be publishing that in the next week or two, and hopefully that will help somebody else out. Anyway, um, it's finally summer. I think every time I made a video, it was like minus 10 degrees outside. Um, it's finally summer out and uh, I've been getting outside a lot. Um, I've been going for walks four times a day, at least four times a day, and really enjoying it. Um, I'm amazed at how much more pleasurable exercises when you take off 80 some pounds or whatever amount you need to take off when you get the mo the bulk of that off how much easier exercises um, when I went down to New York my cousin lives in Brooklyn and whenever I would go visit we'd go out for the day I would always have to bring a wad of paper towels because I would just sweat profusely 
And this time we, I went down to visit and the one thing he said, he said, you know, you don't sweat anymore when you go out for a walk. I was walking and going at a really nice pace and uh, it, it felt really good. And overall, it feels so good to be in control for the first time in my life. And every day I wake up, I don't take it for granted. I'm really appreciative and I'm trying to incorporate better lifestyle choices and I hope that this will carry forward for the rest of my life. Actually, I know it's gonna carry forward for the rest of my life because I'm not just taking anything for granted anymore. Anyway, that's it. I just wanted to give you my six month update and I will talk to you soon.